Okay, and I'm going to share my screen with you. So, uh, welcome everyone, and we're going to look at, uh, as I said today, about um, how the robots play um, on BBO, and also in particular to look at um, the system they play, which is five card majors with a strong no trump. And there are a number of reasons that you should be aware of this. I mean, you will be competing against robots from time to time if you play online. You can also play with robots as partners. And in, in various events, including there's daily free events where you can sometimes bid, sometimes you just play um, the hands on BBO. And uh, in, a, in a tournament like today, there may be a pair of robots playing against you. It's also quite useful to know this because you will come across other people um, who play five card majors with a strong no trump. So I'm going to describe that and then look at some hands that robots have bid and uh, you can see how they how they bid them. So the BBO robots play a form of five card majors with a strong no trump. And this uh, five card majors with a strong no trump is also sometimes called standard or standard American bidding. But the robots go a little bit further and they play something called two over one, which means that a two level response in a new suit to one of a major shows about 13 or more points and is game forcing. So unlike us, uh, if, if you bid two clubs in Akol over one spade, that shows 10 points. And although it's forcing, it's not forcing to gain. So the other part of that is that a one no trump response to one of a major has an extended range, not six to nine, but six to 12. And it's sometimes called one no trump forcing. So these are the two um, key parts of the system. And it's actually a very good system. When I used to uh, play in America, uh, when I lived there, it's what I played. Two over one and one no trump forcing is very popular and it's a very good system. The benefit of it, if you like, <clears throat> is that if your partner responds at the two level, you now know neither partnership can pass until you reach game. And that puts the pressure off, bid, off uh, you know, jumping, for example, and you can find the best game or investigate a slam more easily. Um, so, so those are the key things that the robots play. And they also play a lot of other conventions. Um, and uh, you can, the advantage when you're playing with or against a robot is you can click on the bid they make to see what their bid means and they can describe it. And we'll look at what that means. There's the full system which is described here. I'll, I'll bring up a link to that a little bit later on. But that's the, uh, that's the main thing about what how the robots play. And I want to talk initially about what it means to play five card majors, because this is something you'll come across both with the robots and with uh, Americans or other people around the world. And this is what it means. It means that opening one of a heart, one heart or one spade promises a five card suit. And that means that sometimes if you open one of a minor, one club or one diamond, it may only be a three card suit. And what that means is that with these hands, if your hand is not suitable for one no trump, you have to think a bit carefully about what to open. So one no trump, as we said, is 15 to 17. And with the first hand there, you've got two four card minor suits. So you open one dime. That's one dime with each with two four card suits. On the second one, our longer suit this time is hearts, but we can't open one heart because that promises a five card suit. So we're going to open one of a minor. And with two three card minor suits, you open one club playing five card majors. And another example here with two four card majors, um, four, four, three, two distribution. You can't open any either of your majors. So you open one diamond with this hand with 4432 distribution. OK, now, just to clarify, I'm not suggesting that everyone listening change to this system by any means. But um, 
because it's a little bit different from what you're used to, but that's what it means if you're playing with a robot or against a robot, okay? Any questions on that? Tony, I didn't understand the first one. Why mm -hmm. one diamond instead of one club? Those, those are the, um, the rules. If, okay. if, you, uh, if you have two four-card miners, you open one diamond. So just, just remember that. That's okay. what they do. What, okay. what this means is that most of the time when you open one diamond, you'll actually have a four-card suit um, or longer. Um, with the one exception being this, this third distribution here where you may open with only a three card, uh, three card suit. Um, the advantage of this system is mainly that when your partner opens one of a major, if you have three cards, you know you have an eight card fit and you know you'll be able to uh, support your partner's major suit. The disadvantage, I suppose, is that if your partner opens one of a minor, you can't really be sure whether they've got more than three cards in it or not. Very often they will. Um, very often they'll be the same as you would playing Akol. Um, but um, uh, sometimes it, it won't be. It will just be a, a three-card suit. Okay. And sorry, Tony, is it 15 points you need to open? No. So um, I, I'll talk about the points in a minute. But okay. what I'm saying is that with these three hands, which are all balance distribution, if you had 15 to 17 points, you would open all of these one no trump, playing um, uh, standard American or what the BBO robots play. The normal point ranges to open is still 12 points. So, oh, sorry. yeah, so. So we oh. just want to assume if one opens a minor, it could be a minor suit you want, or it's just showing an opening hand, but not specific. It It's showing. I mean, it should be showing three or more cards in the suit, and very often it's more. Um, but what's, generally speaking, if your partner does open one of a minor, if you have support in the minor, you really need five cards to support them. Right. So, if, if, so if it goes one club, three clubs, or something, or one club, two clubs, those should normally promise a uh, five-card support, because your partner might only have three. There are some awkward hands where you might support with only four, but generally speaking, you should assume your partner's only got three. Uh, three. Uh, you should should not support your partner unless you've got, say, at least five cards uh, in there. So, if you've got six of them and you open one diamond, and partner will then respond. Do you then repeat the diamond? Yes. If yes. You haven't got yes. A, a five. Yes. A four, if you've got That's a four. right. Yes. I mean, apart from that, the bidding is very similar to Akol bidding. You know, if you bid a suit twice, you're showing at least five cards in the suit. You support your partner's suit if you can. Okay. Um, the other thing that is different playing um, with the strong no trump, and uh, this is comparing how basic Akol compares when, you, when you're bidding with a balanced hand, compares with how standard American or playing with a robot goes, is uh, how the no trump, one no trump opening bid is different. So in Akol, we open one to uh, one no trump with 12 to 14, that's it called a weak no trump. And then hopefully you're familiar with these other ranges. So with a balanced hand, you open one of the suit, rebid no trump at the lowest level, or with 17 to 18 points, you open one of the suit, rebid no trump jumping a level, or open one of the suit and rebid three no trump. The two no trump, as we know, is, opens, uh, is uh, 20 to 22. And if you have more than that with a balanced hand, you open uh, with two clubs planning to rebid no trump. Now, the standard American chart, basically, the most important thing to realize here is that these first two rows are swapped over. The point ranges are also slightly different. But because the opening bit of one no trump now shows 15 to 17, how do you show a balanced hand with 12 to 14? Well, you open one of the suit and then rebid no trump at the lowest level. So these two columns are, uh, these two rows are reversed, if you like. And then there's some other slight differences in point counts in terms of opening the bidding and jumping. There's a slight difference in point count in the opening two no trump range, which is just 20 to 21 instead of 20 to 22. And they also open 
22 point hands with two clubs and if it's balanced you open two clubs and then rebid two note trump <clears throat> okay any comments or questions on that yes Tony. if we open one note trump standard accord bidding does the robot assume we're we're bidding um standard american yes oh well well so sorry it, it, sorry you mean if, if they're your partner no you, no, no. If ah. we're playing against them Okay, um, I don't think the robots have a way of knowing whether uh, what system you are playing. Okay, yeah. so they they will have some kind of assumptions about what you're playing, and that may not correspond to what you are actually uh, what you're actually playing. And there's no way for them to ask you a question. I've never known a robot ask me a question. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> and there's no way of finding that out. So they will they will be bidding presumably on the assumption that you're playing the same system as them and they will bid accordingly. So that may lead them to a mistake, I suppose. Yeah, so we can confuse Does this them. mean, yeah. Tony, all these conventions, you only play the robot, what you're talking about, not with their actual partner, if you have. Yes. So when you're playing with your partner, you should play what you've learned and be playing what's on the left-hand side of this screen and not playing any of these things on the right-hand side. But if you are playing, if you're playing with a robot, either in a, a special event or if you partner with a robot in one of the tournaments, this is what they'll expect you to play. What happens if you're playing in the main bridge club? Because they do have the American style and everything. Yeah, if you go to, uh, if, if, you, if you play um, you know, a, a social game or a game in the main bridge club. Um, there's one specific um, uh, club called the Ackle Bridge Club where people who like to play Ackle will be playing. But if you go to the main bridge club or the social bridge club, then most people will be playing um, standard American. Thank you. Okay, five card majors. Um, Tony. Yeah. If you if you open with uh, say um, three clubs, one club, yes. Uh, mm. Yeah. Okay, one club, and your partner doesn't have any club, like two clubs and no points. So what should your partner do then? Say, same. The I mean pass. I mean it's of it's. Of course, a, then you'd be stuck in clubs with no clubs, really. Yeah. Well, your partner may have three, right? So that would be the worst. Might have one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not. It's not much better if you if you play Akol, right? If you open one club, you might only have four clubs between you. But the number of times that happens is, uh, of course, extremely remote. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yes. Well, as I see it, one of the advantages of playing standard American is if you're opening one club or one diamond, it allows your partner to show a major um, with a fairly weak hand, sixty-nine yes. points. Yeah. So you might find a, um, a major fit at a lower level. Yes, you, you, you might, yes. Yes, I mean, if you open, for example, one spade and your partner would have liked to have responded, you know, with to, with a weak hand and maybe they want to be, show their hearts, then you won't be able, you know, they'll have to be one no trump. So there are there are advantages of it. When, when I, um, as I told you, I used to, um, when I lived in California, I used to uh, play uh, basically the very, very similar system to what the robots play, standard American, and then I graduated on to um, the two over one, and, and what many of the conventions the robots play. Um, but when I came back to England and was looking to play bridge, you know, most people didn't know that system. So I, I played, I switched back to Akon. Uh, because it's not, not what people are familiar with. But if you're playing online or if you have a regular partner and you want to try any aspects of this, um, you can. You can also mix and match. You don't. You can play standard American but stick to a, a weak no trump opener. Okay, you can play five card majors but with a weak no trump. And in fact, I think that's quite a good system because the one no trump as a weak bid comes up a lot. Um, and that's, you know, in the old days in this country, we used to play a strong no trump of um, 15 to 17 or 16 to 18. But gradually the weak no trump, the one on the left, has become standard. 
Um, and it, it's uh, popular, I think, because you can make that bid a lot more often than you than you can open one no trump with a um, uh, 15 to 17 or 16 to 18 hand. Actually, Tony, yes. can you hear me? Yes. Um, Gay, I, I partner Gainer a lot, and we play that. We play the five card majors and the weak no trump because we found, as you just said, the strong no trump bid so rarely came up, and so often we had a, a weak. Uh, no trump hand to open yeah yeah okay well good we'll expect great things from you well no, i wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> okay so what i wanted to do is actually switch to uh looking at some hands that were played by uh robots um some of these were actually um bid exclusively by robots some were bid by uh, a person i think i bid some of them playing in a in a like a free robot game and some were played um, on, in tournaments. Um, there is this um, document here where they describe the standard convention card uh, for GIB, which is the robots. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 100% accurate, um, but as you can see, they talk about the two over one game force with five card major, strong no trump as the main thing. They talk here about high card points and total points and if you read that you'll see they uh, add total points on some bids for shortness three for a boy two for a singleton one for a doubleton and i won't go through all this but uh, you can you can read this it sort of describes how they defend and how they bid and there are quite a number of um, co um conventions that they play um and most of those are, are pretty good conventions um, but obviously you only need to should play those if you agree them with your partner. Um, the other thing that's on that website is a link to this convention card, which basically um, is what you fill in. If you play in a, an American tournament, you're, they give you one of these to fill in with your general approach. So here it's got your bidding system, two over one game forcing. Here it's showing you the one no Trump opening bids. These things marked in blue, by the way, are announced, and the other things, uh, like in red, are alerted, the artificial bids. Here you see what they, uh, how they res respond to one of the tra two clubs. They play transfers in the red suits, and the two spade bid is what they call minor suit stamen, um, which allows you to find a fit in a minor suit. Um, other bids they play here, um, over here, we can look at the you know, uh, negative doubles, their overcalls systems here that they play Roman keycard Blackwood, um, they play, but they bid Gerber over one no trump and two no trump. So very similar, a lot of this to, to what we're used to, but some of it is different. Some of it is, uh, is something you won't necessarily have come across. Um, but the big advantage, of course, is when you're playing with a robot is you can click on any of their bids and uh, a, a description of it will come up as to what it shows. And it's a little bit cryptic sometimes, that description, so I'm just going to uh, go through how to interpret that. So here's a hand I played against the, uh, the robot, and uh, it goes past, past, down to south, and I think south's got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen 16 points, and it's a balanced hand. And because you're playing against a robot, they will expect you to play strong no trump. So you open that one, one no trump. Okay. In fact, this is the, um, this is a hand showing how it went. Let me just wait for this to come up. Um, this is the uh, one no trump. And North here had eight points, but the robot there passed and left, left me in one no trump. And any time a robot bids or partner of a robot bids and they expect them to be playing the same system, you can click on that bid and you'll see a description of what that shows, okay? So it's, it's not showing what, exactly what your partner has, but it's just describing that bid. So I'm just gonna go through this because it's slightly cryptic to see what it's saying. So it's basically saying that the one no Trump bid is a no Trump opener could have five M, capital M means a major, could have a five card major. And then it's basically saying that the hand is balanced, that it contains two to five 
cards in clubs, diamonds, hearts and spades. In high card points it's between 15 to 17 and sometimes it as here it shows not just the high card points but what it shows as the total points. And this 18 minus, this is a minus symbol here, not a dash. It's basically saying that the one no trump opener has 18 or fewer total points. And that makes sense if you uh, think about it, because the, we're saying that high card points could be 17 at most, plus you could have a shortage of two card um, suit opening one no trump. So the most you would have in total points would be 18. Okay. And that's what the uh, that that's what that bit shows. And on this hand, I know, what is total points? All right. So total points was uh, what I mentioned uh, here. Let me find it there. Total points is adding points for shortness, basically. Okay. So it's adding one for a double. Two. Okay. So. Um, the, the robots basically evaluate their hand, I think, more on total points in many situations, and they will add extra points for shortness. So they're not saying that this hand is 18 points, they're just saying that it could be no more than 18 points. Okay? Any questions on that? And they passed. With, um, with eight points, they passed. Um, the other thing worth knowing about how the robots defend is that they don't normally make the same leads as you or I would make. I think with this hand as West, you have a clear, well, to me, a clearly attractive lead of a diamond here. You, you lead a diamond and hope the lead, and if you give away a trick, you hope to gain the lead with the ace of hearts and you'll be able to cash the diamonds. In fact, if I click on the GIB link, the computer does analyze that the best lead to make is a diamond there, that will lead to one over trick, whereas any of these other leads will lead to two over tricks. But the computers, um, the robots, don't normally make the same leads. They tend to make um, what are regarded as passive leads, leads that will not give away a trick. And what that means is that they very often do not lead away from an honor. If they have an honor in their hand, they will often lead another suit, a suit without a, an honor in it. So on this particular hand, they actually led the Ten of Spades, um, which is a great lead as far as I'm concerned, because it just um, helps me set up the spades and it doesn't attack the, the diamond suit. So that's what the, uh, the robots played on this occasion, and I think I was able to make uh, uh, two extra over, two over tricks um, after that lead. Any comments on that? It is quite a good idea to try to understand what this little cryptic message is. And if, if you ever see something there and you don't understand what it's saying, do just uh, drop me an email and I will uh, try and interpret it for you. Okay? Let's have a look at another. Have... Yeah? Sorry. And I presume they only have one double thumb. Say that again. One no trump. I presume. There's only one double turn. Yeah, yeah. The rules for opening a strong no trump are, are the same as we're used to, that it should be a balanced hand with no more than one double turn. Right. That's Thank right. You. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at another one. Um, this time, uh, <coughs> again, these were being played by Robots West uh, Past, and North has got a balanced hand, and I think they've got uh, 12 points here. So this is a hand where you or I would open one no trump, but of course, as it's a robot, they're playing standard American, they wouldn't open one no trump, they open one of a suit. And that's what happened on this hand. They opened one diamond, their partner responded one heart, and now they rebid one no trump. And this is how North shows a balanced hand with 12 to 14 points. And indeed, if I click on that one no trump, it will come up with a description of what that one no trump shows. But it basically shows two to five clubs, four or five diamonds, because you've bid diamonds and then um, bid no trump. So it should be at least four diamonds there. It also says that you don't have more than three hearts. That makes sense, doesn't it? Because if you had 
four hearts or more, you would have supported the hearts. And also that you don't have more than three spades, or you would have bid one spade in preference to the one no trump. And then the most important thing is that it shows 12, 14 high card points. So that's what that rebid of one no trump promises there. And then South just uh, jumped to three no trump based on the points there. Okay, any comments on that? How do you know that South hasn't got five hearts? Uh, well, we don't at this point. So it, in the, if I click on the one part bit, it's just saying it's promising four or more um, point, uh, four or more hearts. So, um, but it's so, saying you would have supported the hearts if you had four. But yes. If your partner's got five, you have eight between you. So yes, that's right. Well, why wouldn't you go there? <laughs> so, so you're saying what should South bid after one no trump? With, yes. with this, with this actual hand, of course, South has no problem. Well, South no, has a, a clear-cut bid. But if South had five hearts, could they have found out about a five-three fit? And <laughs> I believe the answer is yes. And I believe the robots could have found this out. Playing a um, one of their conventions is called new minor forcing. So I'm not going to go into that. But it basically would allow North to bid a, uh, a new minor um, clubs here, and that would allow a, um, uh, a, heart, uh, a, heart, a heart bit to be found. But that, that didn't happen here. Okay, and okay. Just, just like you know, playing standard Ackroll, um, it's sometimes you, you can't always find a 5-3 uh, fit in a, a major like this. OK, let's have a look at another one. Sorry, it's a little bit slow coming up. Okay, um, this was another one uh, where two robots were playing. Here, ro two robots were playing against two human beings. And again, if we look at the, um, the bidding, you'll see that West here opened the bidding with one club. I think they've got eight, nine, 10, 12 points. Um, so they opened one club there, not one no trump. There's a normal one diamond overcall and East here doubled, which is a, a normal negative double. And if you click on that, you'll see it's pretty much what we're used to playing, but it's a negative double showing at least four cards in both unbid majors, um, five points in high cards or more, and at least six points uh, if you count total points. In other words, they're expecting that it, there'll be an extra distribution point in there. So that's what the double shows here. West now rebids one spade with the minimum hand and East uh, jumped to four spades on that one. Okay, so that's how, how this one ended. I don't really want to look at the play, uh, but more interested in just seeing how the bidding went. Any comments or questions? Obviously we would bid that one slightly differently, opening it one no trump maybe, and then maybe using Stain to find the four card uh, major suit fit. Here's another one. This was actually um, played against two human beings, and you may recognize the names there. Um, and here, North opened one no trump. That's a normal uh, one no trump for us. And that was passed out. And just wanted to look at this one, because again, um, if you were defending um, uh, with the East hand, you would probably lead a major suit. In fact, if I click on the GIB button, you'll see that if you lead a spade or a low heart, you can actually defeat the contract by um, one trick. However, the robots don't seem to like leading away from uh, honors, making up what we would call aggressive leads. And they actually, sorry, they actually led a diamond, which is very passive and actually sort of helps declare it, doesn't it? Because you can see East West can take their spades if they take them and, and they're also quite strong in hearts. But if they lead a diamond, that's declare a suit. And that actually helped declare a um, make, uh, I think, at least an overtrick on that one. Any comments on that? Um, one question is why do the robots defend that way? And obviously that's how that's the reason that they're programmed that way. But they, they they tend to like to avoid making leads that will 
give away uh, a trick based on how the cards are distributed. Here's another one. See if you can figure out how the robots would bid this one. South here opened one spade, uh, West passed, and what would you think North would bid playing as the robots bid? You've got 11 points there. One no trump or one heart? One no you, trump? you can't bid one heart, can you? No. Uh, so one no trump. One no trump? Yeah, it's one no trump, yeah. Um, we would bid two clubs with this hand in response, but that is a game forcing bid. And unless you have 13 points or more, you would just bid one no trump. So, in fact, this is how it was bid. And again, you can click on these bids to see what they mean. If I click on the one no trump bid, it will come up with what it, it means. And it's saying it's a forcing one no trump, showing fewer than, uh, sorry, three or fewer spades. In other words, um, not four spades or more, and at least six points, but no more than 12 total points. In other words, basically six to 12 points, um, uh, rather than what we play as a one no trump, which is six to nine points. And this is a one dis another disadvantage, some people say, about this system, that you can't stop in one no trump. In other words, after one spade, one no trump, South is expected to bid again, South not expected to pass. So here, South has an easy bid of um, two hearts, I suppose, or we could bid two spades, um, but that leads to a four heart um, contract, which is where you, you end up on this one, okay? So uh, that's how that one uh, goes. One other thing um, on this hand that was interesting is that uh, West was on lead and they led a diamond, um, but they actually led the king of diamonds. So in America, in standard American, and this is what the robots play to, it's normal to lead the king from an ace-king combination. So in other words, when your partner leads a king, they may have the king and the ace, or they may have the king and the queen, both, both the possibilities. But they will lead uh, king from ace-king combinations. And that's apart from that, the leads are very, very similar to what we're used to. That's that's one uh, one difference they have. Any comment on that? Tony, what's the difference between an ordinary robot and an advanced robot? Well, I don't know exactly. Um, I, I I'm told that the robots that play in our tournaments are advanced robots. We were told that. Oh, okay. um, uh, but I know there are some games where <laughs> you can pay more to play with an advanced robot or uh, pay less for uh, um, a non-advanced robot. But I, I, I don't know what the difference is, to be honest. I don't. If, if you're able to ascertain any difference, I'd be interested to know. Okay, so anyway, that's um, uh, that one. And then just a couple more uh, interesting ones. This was one where South opened a spade. Now, that's a slightly interesting choice. Um, because it's normal even playing five card majors to open your longer suit. But here they open one spade, even though they've got six diamonds. And North bid four diamonds. And four diamonds is something you are hopefully some of you are familiar with, is a splinter bid. Um, same as we're used to, showing, what does it say? One or fewer diamonds. So in other words, a singleton or a void in diamonds. At least four card support in spades and 13 to 16 uh, point, total points, okay? And South just took the bull by the horns and jumped to six spades on that one. Okay, any comments on that? And um, then one last one I'd just like to look at. Here, South opened one spade and North has got a fit in spades and bid two no trump, which is Jacoby two no trump. So that's something I know some of you play now. Jacoby to no trump shows support. In theory, it should be balanced. It's not really balanced, is it? But it shows um, 13 or more points, including distribution, and at least four spades. So that's how it went. It went one spade to no trump, and then South bid three hearts. And three hearts is showing shortness, is showing a Singleton or void. If you're familiar, familiar with Jacoby, that's what it shows if you bid your suit at the three level. 
And again, if I click on it, it will show you that, that it's saying shortness, one or fewer heart. Okay, we already know it's about how many spades it's showing. Um, so that's what three heart shows, okay? And then the next bit up, it was interesting as well. Four hearts is a cubid showing um, first round control in hearts. And it, if you read this, you can sort of fathom it out. It's saying that you've got at least one club and at least one di diamond. What that means is that you'd not void in either of those suits. If you were void, you would have cubid those in preference to cubiding hearts. And it's saying you don't have the ace of clubs, you don't have the ace of diamonds, and it's saying you have the ace of hearts, or it could have been a, um, uh, uh, a void, in fact. But uh, that's, that's its description. But it's saying we've got first round control in hearts. Um, then they bid for no trump, which is uh, Roman key card Blackwood. It doesn't say that here, but that's what they play. Uh, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure what the S means, but it's Roman key card Blackwood. Uh, or in support of spades, I think that, that's what the S means. And the five heart response is showing two or five key cards, no queen of spades, and um, that, that's basically what it showed. The rest of is what you were showed in your previous bits. So that way they ended up in a good contract there of uh, six spades on one. So if you ever have any um, bids that the robots make against you that you are puzzled about, do let me know and I'll try and explain them. Um, and it's quite interesting. I, uh, when I'm not doing anything else, I will often watch how the robots bid because I find it quite entertaining. Um, I'm absolutely convinced that they're not cheating or they would, uh, they would do much better and they would make better leads for one thing. But um, uh, they, they, they do sometimes make unusual plays, I'll say that. Anyone have any questions about any of that? Yeah, lots. Okay. <laughs> So, so I'm, I'm not, uh, don't get the wrong impression that I'm telling you to play like the robots or bid like the robots. Don't, don't do that. Um, but you, you, if you want to um, try out, you know, five card majors, um, then you'll be playing a lot more similarly to how robots and uh, other people on BBO play. Any uh, questions? Do, yeah. Do robots have a discard policy? Um, I don't think they do. I, I've not been able to um, to to find one. They they, they say they do. Um, it yeah. Here here's a little description of it. It doesn't use any signals when making discards. It just tries to make safe discards in the suit contract. Frequent discard from a short suit. Otherwise, it tends to discard from a long suit. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. So um, I've. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't think they do. They play in discard systems. Um, okay, anyway, if that's it, we'll uh, end the talk there. And it's just random hands today. And I hope you found that uh, interesting. And see you all online around 2 o'clock. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Okay. Thank you all very much. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye.